Hey, hey peeps, what's happening? Hey, hey, Macarena here, happy Wednesday. I wanted to share some words of wisdom because uh, I feel that a lot of people misunderstand angry or hateful people. I know I did until last night. It was like an awakening, it was like a light bulb moment and I was like, you know what? I think if I'm feeling this, a lot of other people have to be feeling this. Like, that's what I'm thinking. So, Joe Dispenza was talking about when he has these events. He has, like, weekend events, week-long events. If you've heard of Joe Dispenza, drop Joe. Let me know who my Joe Dispenza fans are. And he said when people come in angry and hateful, they're the ones who are they're impatient, they're frustrated, and they want people to feel their hatred and angry. Hey, John. Um... Hey, Ivana. So what happens is when you're feeling that hate and anger and frustration, you're exuding that, right? So I know for me, when I, do, when I have people in my life who are negative, I'm like, why do they have to be like that? It's, and it's not about me and the way I receive it. It's about them. It's, oh, it's never personal. It's, oh, hey, Enrique, it's always about the person who's projecting what they're feeling onto other people. They want people to know. And I, I, there is a couple people in my life. There's a couple people in my life who this makes so much sense. They don't feel worthy. They have so many issues that they have not overcome that their like anger, hatred, unhappiness is spewing out. Now you could see in the life you're living, if you're joyful or you're angry, you, you can see it. So they punish others. I'm, I'm going to read off my notes just so I, I don't too much off on tangent. They punish others so they can feel the unhappiness. So if you're into mindset work, if you're into overcoming yourself, if you want to learn more about how you can retrain your brain um, and you're not following me, click the three dots and click follow. If, if you can find me on Facebook, uh, a lot of my content is on there too for TikTokers. I am Mac Rada on Facebook as well. So be sure to follow me there. Uh, so if you're catching a live, drop a live. Let me know where you're tuning in from. And hey, Matthew, if you are catching the replay, hashtag happy Wednesday. And I wish you a happy Wednesday right back. So emotion is what drives behaviors, right? So if you're not happy with yourself, that's going to drive a behavior. If you don't feel worthy, you can't ever attract what you want because you're not feeling worthy of it. The universe, God, angel, saints, whatever you believe in cannot deliver it if you don't feel worthy of it. So you have to take care of those frustrations, those skeletons in your closet, the fear, the judgment. There's a lot of issues with this, with relationships, whether it's a romantic relationship, whether it's a friendship, whether it's a relationship in your family, until you can overcome yourself, you cannot attract into your life what you desire. It's impossible. And a lot of times, since we have cell phones, we have Netflix, we have a billion other things to distract our mind, when we start to feel that uncomfortable feeling, we distract ourselves and we grab our phone. And so what, what I've learned from Joe Dispenza is when you're feeling uncomfortable, sit with it. Close your eyes, do a meditation, do a prayer, close your eyes and sit with that feeling. Why? Why are you feeling that feeling? Because you can overcome it. And once you overcome it, then you open up the possibility to attract all the things. It will find you. So there's people who complain, who make excuses, and their emotions are connected to their past and will never recognize the things that they want. So when you're complaining, like you wake up and you have that record of the past, you can't be open to manifesting your future. You have to sit in a future state per se. Like you have to be in the present moment, but you have to be focused on the future state because as of today, today was manifested from the past. So we can either relive and replay the past over and over again, or we can sit in the present and manifest the future and, and realize and say, okay, well, I realize I'm doing this habit that's not serving me. So I'm going to stop. I know for me, I used to smoke. Hey, Lolita. And at 30 years old, I said, I don't want to be a smoker anymore. And this is like where hypnosis and mindset and mind training come in. And I made this decision that day that I would not be a smoker anymore. And I was like, I don't like the feeling. It's hit my lungs. I'm getting bronchitis all the time. I don't like that my hair smells like smoke. I don't like that my clothes smell like smoke. I don't, I don't like that I am like dictated my behaviors. Everything's dictated by a pack of cigarettes. And if I was running low, I'd feel anxiety. I'm like, I, I don't want that. I don't, 
I don't want to be a smoker. My teeth were staining. Like, what, what are you doing? So anyway, I made that decision that day that I would not be a smoker anymore. And, and I have not. It's been 15 years. I've not smoked a cigarette since. So the way that we change so that we can attract what we want is by creating new chemistry circuitry. And the way we do that is if something comes up from the past and it's an old behavior or it's a habit or something that you don't want, you, you, you're aware. You have to be aware of it in the moment and you shift it. So I'm going to go into a relationship because he was speaking about this last night and I, I really think this is, this is bomb. So if you're getting value, drop a value below. Again, if you're not following, follow. I have mindset tips. I do cooking. I do all types of holistic tips, hacks, and how to live naturally. Um, and I'm happy to have you here. But anyway, um, I just wanted to end with how you can prep, right? So the brain only learns based on pattern of recognition. So if I, I see you on the, on the, on the live today, okay, I see you, Amanda, I see you, I see you, Keg, I see you, Bev, I see the, I, I see you, it's a pattern of recognition. That's how we shift behaviors. So if you're, if you're on live, drop live, let me know where you're tuning in from, you're catching replay, hashtag happy Wednesday, I wish you a happy Wednesday right back. If you're not following, make sure you click on the follow, hey Antonio. Um, so anyway, so to prep for what you want, this is where I'm going to end here, if you, to prep for what you want. You have to overcome those patterns and you have to feel worthiness. Now, I used to feel like, hey, Athena, um, like I used to have relationship issues because I kept replaying this record. I was trained and you can tell I'm short. Um, you know, I'm, hey, I'm, I've lost a lot of weight, but like my, my, what I was trained was that women who are overweight weren't going to get the best men. That was trained in my mind. Like, what, what do you expect? She's overweight. And that's really full circle because while I don't agree with that, what I do believe is when someone gets to a point, my ring light is going bonkers right now. Sorry if it's like flickering. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting a sign from an angel that I'm, that I'm saying the right words. When you're overweight, I know for me personally, and no judgment towards anyone overweight, it's a protection mechanism. Like for me, it was a protection mechanism because I knew that if I was overweight in my belief system, I wouldn't attract any men to me. I wouldn't attract bad behavior. I wouldn't attract something that was making me a little bit nervous. It wouldn't make me feel uncomfortable. And not until I got to the point where I said, I love me as me, but I want to be, you know, 30 pounds less because I feel better. My knees feel better. My lower back feels better. And because I'm, I'm worth it at any weight. But do I want to be struggling up the up and down the stairs? Do I want to be in pain? Do I want to create other health issues because of the weight? No. No, I deserve to be healthy and happy where I am now and, and in the future. So he said, and this is what I'm laying, you only receive what you believe you're worthy of. And once you believe that you're worthy, and worthiness is just a practice. It is just a practice of being aware of your thoughts. And when you're aware of your thoughts, you can change your thoughts. And once you change your thoughts, your thoughts are of the mind. Your feelings are of the body. Those can be changed. You wake up and say, I don't feel good today. That's a thought that's turned into a feeling. And you can change that and say, I'm going to feel good today. I'm going to do whatever I can to feel good today. And when you get the feeling of like, oh, but I don't. No, I do. I do feel good. And I'm going to do everything and anything I can to feel good today. It's about changing that thought process every single day and then overcoming yourself. Because I, I, I was saying, what does that mean? What is overcoming yourself? And it really means overcoming your bad thoughts, your bad patterns that are not serving you anymore. So I used to always say, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know where to settle down. I don't know where I live. And that's negative. You turn it around. Hey, Jack, you turn it around and you say, I'm an adventurer. I like to live. I like, I'm spontaneous. Learn about yourself. Who are you? What are these patterns? Not until you know the patterns and you say, when this happens, I do X. Well, I don't want to do X anymore. When this happens, I'm going to do Y. And you make the decision and you do it over and over and over and over again until you rewire that circuitry. And then that becomes the new thought, the new feeling, you know, is exuded through your body. That's how you change. There's no, there's no magic. There's no magic prayer. There's no magic meditation. It's doing the work and being aware at all the moments throughout the day and making the choices. 
So I hope that's helped somebody. If you got some value, drop some bells. If you are not following, please follow. Press the three dots. Follow if you're on TikTok. I am Mac Rada on Facebook. If we're not friends, please friend me so we can follow one another. Have a good rest of your Wednesday. Ciao, ciao.